Hi, I am Denise. We have a debate about social media today. I'm talking about social media, good or bad. Uh, I believe that social media is good for society. Firstly, I talk about sharing thoughts. Social media gives to change, gives to people a chance to share their feelings, their uh, thoughts. People can share tweets, articles and Instagram posts on social media. So they express themselves in an uh, environment of diversity. Another benefit is power of organization. Sometimes people need to be organized and come together and change something, help to something. Uh, social media can help them for communicate with each other. For example, there are too many aid campaign, help campaign on Twitter. People come together and uh, help the people on Twitter. Uh, in, in addition, I want to talk about making friends easily on social media. Many people meet people who share similar area of interest on social media. And sometimes they can get married, they, can be, they became best friends on social media. Another topic, thanks to social media, people can access information uh, fastly, uh, faster and easier than uh, other media channels. And social media platforms, another benefit for economy, about economy. Social media created a, a new major industry, thousands of job, jobs such as YouTuber, influencer, social media management. In addition, according to a study, 73% of federal, state and local police officers think social media help solve the crimes more quickly because there are so many information about suspects and victims on internet. Using social media is a great way to entertain yourself after a busy daily routine or stressful day. There are too much ways for do it. For example, people hang on YouTube for relax. People can see the lives of people around the world on social media. There are no geographic limits. People learn their lifestyle, people see their um, life and distraction improve their empathy skills. Not all social media platforms is about entertaining. Some of them is about business, uh, such as LinkedIn. You can share your CV on LinkedIn. As a final remark, I want to say social media helps to people who cannot speak face to face easily. Shy people uh, generally say that they feel more relaxed on social media when they communicate with people. Uh, these are my thoughts about this topic. Let's, this is my turn, this is my friend's turn. Hi, I'm Aicha and uh, I'm against the idea that social media is good for society. I agree with my friends in some points, uh, such as accessing information, it's easy with social media but we have to see the dark side of the social media because uh, we have a lot of reasons to say that social media is bad for our society. Uh, first of all, I want to talk about the anxiety, anxiety because uh, social media causes anxiety. Uh, we recognize or not, uh, we compare ourselves with other people when we see their photos uh, or their uh, tweets and when we see that they are more successful or more beautiful than us, we just think that our lives has no value or we think we are less successful in our life. It just not ends with anxiety, but social media puts children on a higher risk of eating disorders, depression and also low self-esteem. The other point that I want to uh, talk about is uh, cyberbullying and uh, it's become more easier with social media because you can do it anonymously and you can uh, you, can't, you don't have to share your face or your name when you bully somebody. And it, uh, bullying includes aggressive or private messages, 
public comments or uh, they can share your manipulated photos on there. The effects of bullying is anger, anger, isolation, depression, illness and humiliation. And the person who bullied uh, feel worthless. This increased the high of uh, increased the risk of suicide. This is bad. We have to see the dark side of the social media. Uh, the another thing about social media is we waste our time on it. We always use the social media in our free times. If we have to do some uh, tasks such as going to school, going to work, uh, we even in this situation we use social media and it affects our school performance, performance or uh, productivity on work. Uh, and then when we just check our social media accounts, it takes uh, 20 to 25 minutes to uh, return the original task and it can take two hours to uh, focus the original task, task again. At this point, we have to recognize that we become addicted to so social media and the addic addiction is affects brain same as alcohol addiction. There are no difference between the effects and we have to understand that social media can, can be an addiction because we use it and we unable to control the time we use it. So we just sit and look at screen for hours and we don't understand that it gives give us a real permanent damage. Uh, for Chica Chicago University, social media addiction is stronger than alcohol and cigarettes. Actually, we, uh, we don't think that social media is bad, so we don't recognize that we are addict addicted. And then I want to say that uh, some of them, some of us use it while driving, while walking, and it can, can cause some accidents. The other thing uh, is we overshare about ourselves and uh, it is bad for our privacy or, or security uh, because every time, everywhere, we share about ourselves when we are in a birthday party, when we are in a school, when we are eating. It's become easier to strangers find, connect and find you. Uh, it, they can be criminals and they can find you because you find location and your f picture at the same time. It's easy to find you and it can be used for identity theft. We have to think about uh, twice when we uh, go gonna share or uh, inform share information about us because it's important actually. Um, the, another thing I want to say is uh, misinformation because especially on Twitter, false information, untrue information spreads faster than true information. Actually, I can give a number, it's six times faster. Uh, and people usually believe the uh, fake news because fake news uh, seems like m more novel news and they are more surprising and they want to share it. They want to save uh, their friends, they want to have uh, this freedom. And, uh, when somebody says that this is not true, they don't believe it or they don't uh, interest it anymore. The other thing I want to talk is its negative impact on face-to-face -face interactions. It decreases our quality of connection, interaction, because we have to uh, talk face-to-face -face at some points. We have to look at the people in the eye. Uh, because we can't give emotion when we are typing on social media. 32% of us use social media or texting uh, during meals. When we hang out with our friends, we check our social media accounts, uh, our phones in our hands, and we don't want to uh, give, put them away. We want to connect with the phone. Uh, and it decreases our language skill because the language you use when you're speaking face-to-face uh, -face with people and language you use when you type a comment or share something is different. We always use the same words or we just shorten the words and we just forget how to speak face-to-face. -face. I want to add that uh, social media affects our sleep quality. The blue light that smartphones give off uh, trick our brains and we think that this is daytime and it keeps, you, keeps us awake. And also we delay sleeping for checking our accounts when we go into bed. We don't prefer sleeping and we want to uh, see a lot of people, more people on the internet. And actually we don't have to. 
it's not necessary. We have to sleep, but we don't. And the the thing affects our day, actually, not just our nights. The sleep quality uh, decrease, and then our productivity in the day is decreased too. I want to point out something else. Uh, it is uh, the negative body image that social media has. Uh, the most followed uh, accounts we can see beautiful people, expensive clothes, beautiful bodies, perfect bodies. And it's made the beauty standards uh, unrealistic and unreachable. But, pers uh, but us think that we have to uh, look like them. We have to be beautiful. And actually, they are not real. The lives, the pictures we see in social media are not real. This is not the truth, but we believe, we want to believe it. And we looking for to find the perfection, but we can't. And it's become our life more hard. We become stressful. There are a lot of things to say, but I want to finish it here. In conclusion, we have to recognize that social media can be so damaged, can be some, so harm, harmful. Right now we continue to uh, the second part of our debate. And uh, right now we will try to refute our, each other's uh, ideas. Uh, I may agree with you in some points, Aicha, but I want to say something about um, blue lights. Yes, blue lights is dangerous, but we have a technology for this situation. We can turn off lights. And uh, secondly, you said about um, time management, you talk about time management. Mm -hmm. I think everyone should do time management well for it. Uh, you can control yourself and there is some application for manage your time in uh, Apple Store or Google Play Store. And um, in this age, I think face-to-face -face communication is not necessary. We can reach a lot of people, uh, for example, people who are far away from us. And think about you are in here, but your family is uh, far away from you. You can see, on, see them on Skype. I think it's really unbelievable thing. It's really useful. And you talk about false information. Um, yes. Internet like uh, information ocean, I said, but when you see information about anything, you can research on some internet sites such as Tate Org. Therefore, you won't be toxic, toxic with uh, untrue information. Uh, at this point, I want to continue about celebrities on Instagram. When the old times, there's always television. We just see the celebrities on television. But now we can send to message to them. We can see their lives and we understand that they are just like us. Mm, I think it's good. Uh, I want to add something. Uh, you can be bullied in everywhere. Uh, um, it's not different. Bad thing is not social media. Bad thing is people, I think. Uh, so these are my comments related to my opinions. Okay, I want to continue then. Uh, first of all, I want to say something about bullying. Uh, yes, you are right. We can be bullied in everywhere, every time. But this is different when it's because uh, it's in social media, it's on internet, because we become more harsh when we don't see the person. Uh, even if you are not a person that can be uh, talk harsh or bad in social media, you find yourself making a hate comments when it comes to uh, bullying. And if you are a, a bad person, you can do everything you want in social media. If you are good enough to hide your name or your or your face, uh, it's become more easier to bully somebody. And uh, I don't think that we can just escape the uh, issue with saying we can be bullied everywhere, every time. Uh, 
there's an interesting thing about blue light. It, it doesn't change the truth that we actually prefer uh, our phones rather than sleeping. It still continues to uh, affect our sleeping quality. I remember that you say face-to-face -face communication is not necessary nowadays, but I strongly, strongly against the idea. Because we are humans and we have to interact with people face-to-face. -face. This is how we communicate, actually. When we just use our phones with, uh, for communication, actually we communicate with our phones, not the person. Because usually in social media, we are not the person actually we are. The communication style we use on social media different than uh, our daily life. We just want to uh, show the person actually we are not and we just want to share and show a person more beautiful than us, more intelligent than us and we become a different person in social media. When you say that if a person far away from you, you can communicate, in, you can communicate with them in Skype but actually this is the issue that we actually don't care them when they are near, near us. When just they are sitting in front of us, we just don't give attention to them. We just still check our phones or just uh, doing some different things. We don't want to communicate them. But when they are far away from us, we just say that, oh, there's Skype, I want to talk with, with the person who I load or who I miss. But actually we, we should learn how to communicate with people when they near us. It's funny, isn't it? Uh, and this is the truth, this is the situation we have right now. This is the issue we have right now. Uh, and the other thing I want to say, uh, the time management, you say that there's apps, you can control them at the time management with it. But if you're addicted, you don't want to use the apps. And if you're addicted, it doesn't matter if you use the app or not. You can't control, we enable to control the time we use social media. It's not just about time management, it's become addicted and you want to continue to look at your phone. Continue to, it, because it affects your brain, not your time. And this is all I want to say to you. Thank you. Everything has a good and bad sides. The important thing is use social media wisely and moderately. If you have uh, if you have something to say, comment down below.